Hey folks, this is going to be the practice video for the song Marianne on the saxophone. This song is on page 10 of your blue book in case you would like to reference the written notation for it, or you can just follow along with uh, me here with our saxophone. Let's start by singing the tune. Cool. If you need to go back and listen to that song again, hear it again, learn how to sing it, go ahead. I'm not going to teach you how to sing today. On, because it's about saxophone, right? Okay. Uh, this song is in two halves, and both halves are almost identically the same. So once we learn first half, we're good with the second half. It begins with a, a B D G B. Again, that's B D. G, B, let's play that three times. Ready? Again and. Last time and. Awesome. Um, great. The next part, just three notes, Mary Ann goes B. A, C, again, that's B, A, C, let's try it, ready, again, and, good, let's put those two things together from the beginning, B, D, G, B, B, A, C, one, on a B, and ready, back up and do that part again. Go ahead, pause your video, rewind. I'm gonna keep going so this video doesn't turn into 20 minutes long, alrighty. So, um, next part, we're gonna go A, C, C, F sharp, A, remember F sharp second finger, not first, second. These four notes, goes like this. Oh my goodness. Do that again for me. I put my finger on the octave key. I don't know why. That's why it popped up so so high there. Do it again for me, Ray. That's how you play that. One more time, Ray. That's the ticket. <laughs> Sifting sand is going to be A, G, B. Play those three notes with me, ready? Again, and go. Third time's the charm. Good, put those two parts together, uh, which is A, C, C, F sharp, A, A, G, B, one, two, ready? again go ahead back up the video and practice that but we're gonna move on um, let's put those two chunks together from the beginning so we're gonna start with the B D G B part and get through that Round one two ready <laughs> Again, if you need to go back, practice any of that, go ahead, stop, rewind. We're going to keep going. The second half of the song, like I said, 
It's basically the same as the first. We're going to change the little rhythms to make it fit with the song. So we're going to know all the little children. So same notes as the beginning. B, D, G, B. Except we're going to add all the little two of each of B and G, D. Excuse me. Ready? Again and go. Good. The part is the same too. So let's put this second, this big chunk together. My words are breaking down. Oh no. One, two, ready. Should go a little something like that. All right, the end again is the same as the beginning. It's gonna go A C C F sharp A. Just play that ready. Good. The end is different. It's just gonna go A G G. Play that for me. Ready. Again and go. Not bad. Let's put this little chunk together. It should go A, C, C, F sharp, A, A, G, G. Ready. Good. Let's do the second half of the tune. And then we'll back up, put the whole song together. All the little children ready. Good. I had a cha-cha-cha-cha at the end. That was just all B or G's with the octave key. If you want. Here we go. Let's play the whole song. All together. One, two, ready. <laughs> Good. Nice. If you need to back up, do any of that again to work on it. Another practice session with this video. All good. Whatever uh, you need to do for you. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, email me, send me a uh, comment on Google Classroom. Till then, happy practicing.